We're the Bakken's class of 2010. We spent 13 years with Kent Boyd in school. Here are some interesting facts you didn't know about Kent Boyd. Here's one fact you didn't know about Kent Boyd. He has an uvula that looks like a whale's tail, and if you ever get to see it, I would, especially if he opens his mouth. Fact number two. Kent has a crooked nose, so next time on TV, you'll be able to tell he's got a crooked nose. Here's fact number three about Kent. He's more than a dancer. He was a district qualifier for swim team. He was a gold medalist in Parley Pro. He's fluent in French. He's got the lead role in two musicals that were at our school. He also plays soccer. He got second team all Dayton North. Fact number six. Kent had a job throughout high school, working at the in-between busing tables. Which is not a farm. Fact seven, I was the first girl, girl to ever kiss Kent. It was at our first talent show and we were in kindergarten and at the end of the dance, my parents and his convinced me to kiss him on the cheek and so I did. And after that day, I was always known as the girl who kissed Kent. Here are some stories about Kent Allen Boyd. One time when we went to go watch a movie, The Lord of the Rings, me and Kent almost got kicked out for spitting spitballs at a bald guy's head. In third grade in soccer, he scored his first goal of the season. He ended up doing a backflip for his celebration. He ended up getting a yellow card. He was mortified ever since. In junior high, we were on a field trip, and Kent dared me to moon the interstate. And we were supposed to do it together, but last minute he chickened out. And then by the end of the day, everyone knew about it, and parents were calling in, and I almost got suspended from school. Yeah, because he was running around screaming, <laughs> That was Kent that was doing that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's... Kent's running around, oh my god, I can't believe Megan just moved to Anderson. And, then... and everyone's like, what? Why? She's like, he moved to Anderson. Or it's she like less than an hour and Yeah, then Mr. Mr. Fine would tell Trigo, and then Trigo came out there like... Because Kent told everyone. That was so funny. So... I laughed so hard. Right there, but so he almost got me suspended. Kent got you in trouble big time. Big time. Our junior year, uh, exam lunch period, Kent Boyd was humiliated when one of his classmates pulled his pants down, his butt mooned all the 7th graders, and they were mortified. I guess that's karma, Kent. <laughs> you really think Kent is innocent? But actually, he's been in trouble with the law. He recently just got pulled over for an 85 and a 55. He was also escorted in the back of a cop's cruiser. In account of this, he was 20 minutes late for soccer practice. In third grade, I was dating Kent's best friend, Eric, and we were on a field trip riding the bus, and I had this big bag of candy, and Kent wanted my candy. So, me and his friend were broken up at the time, and he comes back to me and says, Megan, Eric's gonna go back out with you if you give me all your candy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. So I give Kent all of my candy, and then he just took it and ate it, and then he comes back a little bit later and said, I was lying. Eric doesn't want to date you anymore. And so I sat there and cried the rest of the bus ride home, and Eric had to come and talk to me, and it was so embarrassing. <laughs> in second grade, me and Kent sat by each other in class, and I had a big crush on him. So one day I was just sitting there staring at him, and he was so cute, and then I leaned over and kissed him on the cheek, and then he freaked out and, like, rose his hand and was waiting for the teacher to call on him. And then she's like... I'm like, oh my gosh, no, 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 don't say anything to the teacher, I don't want to get in trouble. And he's like, no, I'm telling on you. And I'm like, okay, I'll just tell. So I raise my hand, and I'm, Mrs. Locker calls on me, and she's like, Megan? And I'm like, I kissed Ken. <laughs> and then she got really mad and said, Megan, keep your hands to yourself. How many of you girls have dated or had a crush on Kent? Oh, that's so sweet. In the second through fourth grade, me and Kent dated, and for that time, at the end, I was supposedly said to throw a rock at his best friend Eric's eye, which made him bleed. Therefore, Kent broke up with me, and it was sad. You lost him in fourth grade. I lost him. Here's some of Kent Boyd's favorite catchphrases. Must be turkey season. <laughs> when he's excited and feels like dancing, he says, shake the devil off, and starts to shimmy. Sometimes he'll say, magical Betsy. Mortal! Sweet baby Jesus. Or bomb bomb. When anything bad happens, he says, Karma! Bonita. Yippee! This ain't no picnic. <laughs> oh, and when he likes certain things or clothing, he says, That's urban. Ready? Ready! V O T E K E N T.
in on Wednesday nights and vote for Kent Boyd. There are an unlimited amount of votes, so vote for the full two hours. Thank you.